What's going on, guys? Okay, today I want to talk about how we could use ProQ3 in sidechain mode to really help things pop through the track. So I've got a super saw stack here. It's a pretty big super saw stack, but on top of that, I also have a couple of lead lines, a nice lead synth, and then some vocals that I've pitched around. And I really wanted them to cut through the super saw stack as the lead should. So pay attention to how big the super saw stack is and also how you can hear the leads coming through. Check this out. All right, great. So you could tell that that super saw was rather big, but you could also tell that the lead was cutting through very nicely. So let's listen to both parts real fast so you can see what's going on, and then I'll show you how to blend them. Here's our super saw stack. Okay, super cool. So let's check out our lead track. All right, cool. So let me show you how I got them to blend like I did. So what we're gonna do is go down to, I'll just solo the, the drop group here so we don't have to hear all the other music right now. I'll go down to the Super Saw stack and here you can see I've got a Pro Q3 on here, okay? And I do have it side chained from the drop leads. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and add a fresh one so we could just do this together and I'll show you how it's done, okay? Cause it's really powerful. So what I'm gonna do first things first is use our sidechain. And since the lead is kind of fighting with the super saw in a way, because they're both taking up similar frequencies, we're gonna sidechain from the drop lead, okay? So let's just go ahead and grab that guy, here we go. Okay, we got it right here, boom. Now the next thing we need to do is go down here under the analyzer, okay? And we need to make sure that your sidechain is engaged, okay, so perfect. So what we're gonna see is not only the spectrum of the saw stack, but we're gonna see the spectrum of the drop leads as well. And in addition to that, we're gonna see this vertical red line. And that's ProQ saying, hey, there's a problem right here. Let me show you what I mean. So the dark red horizontal lines is where the two are fighting. And I've gone ahead and made some nodes there for us. Okay, here they are right here. All right, so what can we do now to fix this? Well, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna click on this one here. And what I'm gonna do is a bit of dynamic EQ reduction first, okay? So here's your big knob here in the middle. And then there's this ring around the outside and that's what we could use to make it dynamic. So I'm gonna pull this down. Okay, and dynamic just means that it's not going to be a static EQ pull down. Like if I was to go here and just pull this down, then you know it would just be pulled down. But the way that dynamic EQ works is it only pushes down when the source happens, okay? But we're gonna take it one step further. So what we're gonna actually do now is we're gonna go ahead and hit auto and hit this button right here, okay? This button right here is our external sidechain button. And what this says is when this is engaged, this is going to look at our external sidechain, the drop leads, and it's going to push down on this frequency that we've selected when the drop leads are playing. So basically, the two things are fighting, right? The super saw chord stack is fighting with the lead, so to speak, because they're taking up similar frequencies, but we want the lead to pop through. So in this case, we've sidechained to the lead, so now here it's going to push down when the lead comes in and in the specific area of where they're fighting, okay? So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of these. I'll speed up the video a little bit, but you can see me do it.
All right, there we go. And you can go ahead and decide how much you want to pull down on each of these frequency bands. You could use your ear to see where they really pop through the most. But honestly, as long as you pull down a couple of dB, I feel like you're going to be okay. So let's check out how this sounds now. So we've really got a lot more of the leads pushing through. Now let me show you one more little tip that we could take this even further. So we want our super saw stack to be rather wide and full. And usually, even though my leads aren't completely mono, we want our leads to be more in the center. So I'm going to take advantage of mid-side. What I'm going to do is highlight all of these. I'm going to go down to stereo and switch it from stereo to mid. Now all of these are actually going to just reduce reduce the mono or mid band so the side super saws are still there. Let's hear this. I use this technique on a lot of things. I'll use this during the verses when the vocals are playing. So I'll sidechain all of the music to the vocals. So the vocals will push down the music in the same way in this situation, the leads are pushing down on the super saw stack. This is a great way to get things to blend without losing any volume or any energy from that track. All right, I'm sure some of you may have noticed I've got this weird feedback thing happening here. This tends to happen sometimes when you have OTTs engaged. It's a very easy fix. All we have to do is grab our gate, pop it here, and you know, we'll just lower the threshold a bit and there it goes away, no big deal. It's just something that OTT creates, no big deal. Usually you just grab it at the source, but I wanted to show you guys how to fix that. The next thing I wanted to talk about real fast is this threshold slider right here. So the way I've got this happening is when those leads are happening, it's pushing down, and I have it pushing down rather aggressively. I just like the way the blend happens, especially as I run it into a limiter and some more multi-band compression. That's another thing, guys, don't worry about the plus four here. I know some of you guys are worried about it. I know you are, but don't because uh, I've got it running into a limiter right here and some multiband compression and it's not going to be a problem. I, I promise you. Anyway, so this threshold is how much it's going to push down. So as we've been looking at this, it's just pushing down all the way. But if I wanted less on a certain band, I could certainly go and adjust the threshold. So only some of the signal was going over it again. I had it full on because that's just the sound that I liked, but if you wanted to make it a little bit more specific and a little bit gentler, you absolutely can as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still confused about Pro-Q3 and don't know what dynamic EQ is, I did a really cool video with Warp Academy a few months ago. I'll put the link in the description. It describes it very clearly. Also, if you don't know what mid-side EQ is and you want to know more about that, please let me know. I could do a video for that as well. Now, I wanted to let you guys know that this track is called Nightfall, and if I had to describe it in a few words, I'd say if Elenium and Virtual Riot had a baby, that's what we have here. And I've even got Meredith Bull doing the vocals on here, and her voice is beautiful. <laughs> So I'll put a link down in the description and all you guys can add it to your playlist on Spotify if you want. Also, if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to my channel. I always do a lot of really cool stuff here, tips, tricks, and some finger drumming performances. All right, catch you guys later. See ya. We're still cold.